On his first day in office, Obama gave to me a federal spending spree. On his second day in office, Obama gave to me tax cheating cronies and a bailout of AIG. On his third day in office, Obama gave to me czars in the White House, quantitative easing and a free falling currency. On his fourth day in office, Obama gave to me government motors, posthumous voters, scandalous payoffs, private sector layoffs, and my very own EBT. On his fifth day in office, Obama gave to me green energy. Four dollar gas, three years of economic gloom, and a tax on my Christmas tree. On his sixth day in office, Obama gave to me record unemployment, Libyan deployment, big no to drilling, illegal killing, and a lack of transparency. On his seventh day in office, Obama gave to me Double dip recession, free speech repression, new world order, wide open border, and assault on democracy. On his eighth day in office, Obama gave to me socialized health care, corporate welfare, stock market tanking, printing presses cranking, and welfare dependency. On his ninth day in office, Obama gave to me Oil-covered beaches, long-winded speeches, and a desperate craving for tea. On his tenth day in office, Obama gave to me Joe Biden gaffing, world leaders laughing, and an end to civility. On his eleventh day in office, Obama gave to me Garofalo shrilling, Chris Matthews thrilling, Oprah endorsing, Damon discoursing, Alec Baldwin tweeting, George Clooney pleading, ex Beatle crooning, View Lady swooning, Mar getting madder, more getting fatter, so I'm canceling my cable TV. On his twelfth day in office, Obama took from me the last.